The, the sport is well and truly involved, um, especially in the last 12 years. Um, you know, the, the team atmosphere is exactly the same though. Um, you know, everyone is moving in the right direction and, and most importantly, everyone's moving in the same direction um, with, with the same end goal and, and that is, um, you know, the ultimate performance at an Olympic Games. Um, you know, I, I think when you um, combine a, a group of like-minded individuals and bring them all together, uh, at the end of the day, success breeds success. And, um, you know, to, to have an opportunity to be part of that team will just be a dream come true. So, you know, you're always happy to offer advice or sit down and talk to guys and talk to the girls and, you know, get them to look at sport from a different angle or get them to look at life after sport from a different angle as well. And uh, most importantly, I, I think, get them to look at competition from a certain way as well. Um, you know, but I'm not going to be an enforcer. I, I think, um, you know, if these guys have got any questions, I'm always happy to sit down and talk to them. Um, you know, but I'm never going to just go up to them and say, oh, you know, you should be doing this or you should be doing that. Oh, geez, what have I learned about myself? Uh, Self-control is probably, <laughs> probably the biggest thing, but no, look, I, I think at the end of the day um, that you can achieve anything if you want to put your mind to it. Um, I, I think, um, you know, if you set goals and, and, or you set realistic goals and you allow a time limit uh, to achieve those goals, then um, you can do anything you want in life. It's, it's come by very, very fast, to tell you the truth. Um, you know, it's going to be uh, quite exciting. I, I think I'm quite lucky that, uh, you know, I'm on in day six and seven. So, you know, I've got a few extra days up my sleeve before I have to race. And there's a, a few young and up-and-comers that are coming through the ranks at the moment. Um, you know, there's two Queenslanders, Sam Ashby and Chris Wright. Um, you know, both boys are, are very, very talented. There's another young boy down here in Sydney. His name is Jaden Hadler. Um, you know, he's really hit his straps over the last 10, 10 or so months. But also, too, a, another guy, um, you can't write off Andrew Lauderstein. Uh, you know, a guy like that who's been to the Olympics before. He's come away with a bronze medal. Um, you know, he's a big meat swimmer. So, um, you know, I, I think when we go to trials, um, you know, while you're wary of what's going on around you and, and the other competitors, um, you know, it's not over until that race has been swum. It's one of those things that it just comes down to just racing. Um, you know, for me, I'm, I'm, I'm quite fortunate because I've been through this situation before. I, I know what is ex expected. Um, and when we get down to Adelaide, I, I know exactly how, what the atmosphere is going to be like. So, um, you know, we just take it on a day, 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 day by day basis. And, um, you know, hopefully when it comes time for the 100 Butterfly, I'll be fresh and I'll be ready to go.